All right, now this tutorial is gonna be a little bit more complicated, so hang in there, it's gonna, it might be a little long, but I will be teaching you how to teleport your Torbash person, whether it be Ook or Tori, or how to apply force to Ook or Tori in a spot that you want. Now, this is like basically the, the way I do it. There are many like uh, Lua scripts and mods or whatever you can use to do this probably <laughs> in a more easy way but this is the way i've always do it it's a probably a more tr traditional way but i like to have control over everything and when you rely on scripts which is what i used to do there used to be bugs and then those like like they break and they're unreliable so this is the way i do it to make sure that i have control and i can see everything that's going on all right so to begin you have to make sure that you have a text editor now there are many text editors um, if you don't know what that is then look it up it's just uh, a software that you can use to look at the replay text uh, te texts and there are a variety of ones that are free or paid that offer different um, different features so this the one I'm using is what's it called what's it called Sublime text. That's the one I use. Um, but anyway, make sure you have that ready. And then you have your Torbash replay ready to start making. And I just have this over here where I can make sure I can see what's coming on. So first, I will show you what the replay text looks like. All right, here is. A replay in a text editor it's very very overwhelming but I'm just gonna run through some of the important stuff uh, I don't even know what entirely everything means but just the stuff that I need to to do what I need to do so this is where the replay is located uh, version of uh, the scores the win uh, the winner uh, version fight name uh, all this is just basic just replay information until you get to Oh, you can also change the author's name by doing this. Change Ook. For all those people who have issues where you try to save a replay and the replay is saved as someone else or it switches the people in the game, you can open up a text editor and re-input who bout zero, which is Tori, and bout one, which is Ook. Uh, and you can re-fix that. And you can also just put change the name of the author of the, of the replay. Um, anyway... Uh, all this information in new game is the, um, is basically all the starting information. Like this is how many frames are in the replay. This is the name of the mod. Some people have uh, issues where they save a replay, but the, they, their mods missing or the mod changed and then the mods gone. Well, if you re-enter the mod in there, then you'll have it for the replay. All this other stuff has to do with um, with like t taking dismember on or off, uh, different thresholds, etc. So like if you're doing a, a replay and you accidentally set it as no dismember, but while you're editing it later, you want to turn dismember on, then there are certain things in here that you, you can switch to different values and it turns that on or off whenever you want. Uh, frames joint so this is uh every single thing that has zero here applies to tori so this is jory uh jory <laughs> this is tori's joint position um well, this is uh, tori's joints this is his positions uh i'm unsure what this means i don't use it very often this is the the directional forces being applied to his uh joints and this is the rotations being applied to his joints and when it says one that is applying to ook so this is all of uh, the ook's uh joints that are currently in action and uh the positions etc etc and it goes on and it skips from frame 25 from frame 0 to 25 because like nothing in between 0 to 25 was being changed so from 0 to 25 it was one motion being moved so if you were to change the joints again between 0 and 25 then that will appear on your on your um on your text uh this stuff that says e uh angle and e linval and e qat and e position and 
all that has to do with an object in the mod that is moving so if you have a a, a bow staff or something in the mod and you're moving it around well that's it, its movements will also appear here as in the the e section so uh that is basically what everything in the the replay text means all the important stuff at least um the important stuff that we'll be looking at for uh moving and applying forces and teleporting are we're looking at the positions the pause the positions of tori and Uke, and we'll be looking at uh the linval for applying force because remember linval is the force applied to joints and angle is the rotations applied to them so we will be looking at linval for forces and we're looking at the position for their positional changes now i will show you how to apply force to a joint so first we need to get in whatever position we want to get so we can find it on the replay so first we are going to pose tori uh all right tori is now posed now that movement will show up on our replay editor so let's check it out so we save it as test one. Oh, test one save now test one should have gone here now we move it to our text editor so now this is test one now this is where we started where is it where is it this is where we started here's all of Ook's positions which is basically nothing that much besides his slowly tipping over and we have Tori's positions for the start which is also nothing because it's the first frame now all of this we already have 12 frames in and seven frames in were the two movements that we used to get in that position now we want the force to be applied on Tori in his last state which is frame 12 is the last thing entered for tori as you can see with the zeros in our replay text so uh we want to apply it to let's say his head now this is how it works his linval is right here we will apply force now uh each of the body parts which is uh the joints I i'm talking about is split up from one to i believe 17 18 i'm not sure of the how many different parts there are but each one has a section uh i mean each a uh, body joint has a uh, a number <clears throat> now these first three here uh, have to do with this head and as you move down the rows you will go into different parts of the body um as in zero is his head and then we have like neck and then and then the, the chest and then etc etc and we move down the feet all when you get down to the end so we want his head i usually just work with upper body a lot um anything lower i have to experiment because i don't know exactly which parts are which i just know the first three are his head and then as you go to the next three then we start to work with uh this area and you work with the next three and then we get more in the chest area so we want his head so we're going to work with the first three now i'm not good with figuring out which one is which yet because there's no xyz listed on here but i know this the third one is always going in the up direction we went down to a squat, so we have negative seven for his down direction. Negative seven is going downwards. Now, the first two are the ones I always get confused. One of them is forward and back, and the other one is side to side. Now, we want Tori to be blasted back by his head. So, what we need to do is find which one is going back. Now, we have a negative two on this one and a zero on this one. Let me see the replay. His head's going forward a little bit. So I'm going to assume that negative two is the is the head going forward. So if we want it to go back, then maybe if we add 500 on this, it will go the opposite direction. So let's test it. Save as my replays. Let's I want it to go straight to the top or we can go straight to the bottom. Z, Z, Z test two. All right. So let's go to my replays. Do, 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 do. All right, on to the bottom to ZZZ test two. Oh, <laughs> well, I was right. We have now blasted Tori back by his head. Now this is really 
bad looking because of the amount of force that we added. So if we lower it something like 100 and save as and put test three on it and go into the replays, my replays down to test three, load. Now we have a more realistic thing. Now, if you were to time this with a punch by Ook, then you could make Ook's hit be very, very powerful. But basically, that's how you apply force. Now, you do that same thing to any other part of the body, and you will get the force in the way that you want it to. And that is how you apply force to a part of the body. For this next part of the tutorial, we are going to do teleportation now there are two things that can happen when we teleport we can teleport him and tori will be in the exact same position that he started in which would be very easy but that's probably not what you want you want him to teleport in a position that you want so right now what we're gonna have him do is teleport after he flies back so he's gonna fly back maybe bump his head and then he's going to appear posed behind Ook. Now that's what we're going to do for the teleportation. So now to do that, we need to get a new location for Tori. So that is that. So we need to make a new replay. So we want Tori to appear behind Ook. So let's go into game rules. All right. So here's what's gonna happen. We need to get Tori's position back there. It's just gonna require us to just be a little careful. So this is much easier when you do it on a mod because you'll, you'll be able to edit, edit the player position. But when you do it on one of these like, uh, one of these OG like old fashioned mods, they don't have player position. So you're gonna have to just do this. So. Let's do it. See, like, if I hit 100, they get closer. But I need to remember that Tori's going over here. So if I do... Negative 200, I will get the complete flip of how they started. This is where Ook was. This is where Tori was. Now, I want Tori to be behind Ook. So that would mean I need Tori, like, relatively right here. So that's, like, negative 350. So now we have Tori in, the, in his position. This is where we want him to teleport to after his little flail backwards. And we can turn him around by doing, can this work? Is that what I wanted to do? Yes. So this is Tori's new position. Now to capture his new position, we need to do a small little replay to lock it in. So now we just need to do enough to have it show up in the replay text editor so this is his new position that's his new position so now we save it as new position all right so this is our test three and we're gonna go to new position and keep that over there now that we have our new position let's go back to test theory so this is what we had before we wanted to teleport but we have to choose when do we want him to teleport so let's do go in and edit it right here now how you choose where you want it to teleport is where you make your next movement so because i want him to teleport i'm going to make a movement right here now this movement I just did with his knees and his hips are going to show up in the text editor and we will see it. Let's call this ZZZZZ test four. So now we take ZZZ test four and this right here was that movement we just did with his knees and his hips. Now that's where we want him to teleport. So we will go to new position, find that last movement we did, which is right here. Do not copy the frames. And because we want him not only to copy his position in the mod, but we want to also capture what his joints are doing in the mod. So you capture 
joint all the way down to the end of angle zero. You copy that. You go back to test four, and now we will replace this movement we just did, not the frame, just from joint down to angle zero, and we're just substituting it with new position. And now, if we go back, we're gonna name this replay, did I do it? And now, if we go back to replay, my replay, oh man, that was a terrible name, now I have to find it. Here it goes. We should have a teleport. All it did was take the position of the knees bending and replaced it with the new position replay. And now he's behind and ready for action. Now, everything I just did for Tori can be applied to Ook. But you should have to make sure that you're editing stuff that says Linval 1, not Linval 0. To make your movements appear on the text editor ready to edit, you must move them. You have to move the joint in the replay and it will appear on here. If you don't, you will not find your last movements. So it's kind of like you're marking your space. You're, like, you're marking the point. It's like a checkpoint or a save thing where you want that to appear. And now if you do that with both Ook and Tori, you can mark where their positions are and change them or apply force to them in whatever place you want in the replay. It will take a little bit of practice to get the hang of it. But after that, you'll be making the crazy teleporting, super punching, superhero type fights in no time. And that's how you replay hack the way that i do it the, tr the traditional way that i do it any other way that uses mods or lua scripts those i think those are unreliable and this is the best way that i can do it i can see everything that's going on and it's very smart to learn how to read this information and not rely on a script because who knows in the future maybe in torbash next these still may be relevant and maybe things that you will need to know all right thanks for watching good luck